Lego Tower Design Challenge is the culmination of a six-week unit of study titled Nature of Science and Engineering. It sets the stage for a year of learning to solve problems just like real engineers. During the unit, the students examine the differences between scientists and engineers, the engineering design process, and the qualities of effective teams. They work together to design hats that won't fall off in the wind and Lego towers without design constraints. Knowledge is gained from these beginning tasks and applied to the final challenge. At the beginning of this unit, I asked you guys to build a tower, but I didn't give you any stipulations. I didn't say, you know what, the tower has to be this tall, it has to look like this, or it needs to be as big as this. I didn't, I didn't tell you anything. I just said, build a tower. I didn't even show you what a tower was. I just said, build one. This time, boys and girls, I hope you're listening, because this time, you're going to have some design criteria. If you don't meet that design criteria, then your tower won't be successful. So listen closely. First off, when you build your tower this time, you're going to work with a partner the same way you did the last time. The reason I asked you to do it the first time, Preston, was because I wanted you guys to learn how to work together as a team. Everybody say team. Team. Take turns. Take turns. Everyone participates. Everyone participates. Attitudes are positive. Attitudes are positive. Meet a common goal. Meet a common goal. Meet a common goal. Meet a common goal. Okay, so I wanted you guys to work together as a team just to design and build something. But this time, you're going to actually have to work as a team to meet my design criteria. Now, who thinks they can tell me, because I know I got some smart first graders in here, who thinks they can tell me what is the first part of a design challenge? What do we have to do first before we can do anything else? We have to do this every single time. You hear Jamerson, you got to do this every time you get ready to do a design challenge. What do you have to do first? Who thinks they know? I like, I like the way Chate is to me. Chate, what do we have to do first? What song you want to say? Disco? Oh, disco? All right, here we go, class. One, two, ready, sing. Ha, 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 ha. You did a good job. You did a good job. Excellent. Chate said you have to plan. No, you don't design first. No, you don't just go off and we just make a design because that's not what engineers do. Before you can design anything, you have to have a what? Plan! You have to have a what? Plan! You have to have a plan. So today, boys and girls, I'm going to allow you to get a partner and to create a plan for your tower. Number one, you must design a tower that will not fall if the wind blew. Number one, you must design a tower that will not fall if the wind blew. Number two, your tower must be at least 30 centimeters tall. Your tower must be at least 30 centimeters tall. Number three, listen. Yes. And this is just this. This is what I like to do to make it real nice and juicy. I know this is a tough one right here. Though. Your tower must have a pattern somewhere on it. Can you tell me why do you have those stills at the bottom? Because what? Because you want to make it stand up. So you think that by putting legs on the bottom, it's going to stand? Did any other team talk about the requirements that it must have? I heard some must talk here. Jackson, what was a must? It must withstand wind. It must withstand wind. What does that mean? It must not fall down with wind blowing. Okay, so you're saying that when the wind blows, it must stay standing tall. It must not be able to fall over. Besides that must, what else? What 
Oh. Can't have the wind knock it over. 30. We, uh, What's back in your notebook? Beautiful, 30 centimeters tall. So I heard Quinn say it's gotta be a tower. I heard Jackson say it must withstand the blowing of a wind so it doesn't knock over. And Clarity said it must be at least 30 centimeters tall. Can it be taller? Yeah. Take off if you can guess. All right, just checking. Okay. So before we get started, I wanted to show you our team poster. Mirror my voice. Mirror my voice. voice. Being a team means. Being a team means. Taking turns. Taking turns. Everyone participates. Everyone participates. Attitudes are positive. Attitudes are positive. Meet a common goal. Meet a common goal. Miss away. Now I'm going to show you something else that we have not done. You are each going to have jobs. Since we are in the design part, you guys have done the plan. We've done our research. It seems like you guys know what's going on. You're each going to have a job within your team. So if you are the number one on your team, raise your hand. Number one on your team. Number one, you are the four person. The four person is kind of like the boss of the group, but not meaning like they get to boss people around. They're kind of making sure everyone's doing their job. So if you're the four person, you're going to be in charge of making sure that the team is really working as a team. So if you see people not taking turns, you're going to have to jump in and say, hey, it's Alicia's turn. Let her go. You need to be making sure everyone's participating. So if you were the first person, your job is to be like, come on, we need your help. If someone's starting to get kind of a cranky attitude, you need to find a way to cheer them up and say, come on, we got to do this together. We can't do it without you. And if you're the four person, making sure that we're meeting the common goal, building our towers. All right. Number two is in each group. Raise your hand. Ryan's a two, Amaya's a two, Shakoria, and Desai. You guys are the materials manager. And that means you will be the only ones on your team allowed to come and get more. What's one of the requirements it must have, Jack? Okay, is it there yet? No, right now it's only on the top. Okay, and what's the other test? Okay, how are you going to check that? Okay, let's check it. Does it look sturdy and strong? Yeah? What if you guys all do it on one side and blew in the same direction? Because when we have the hair dryer, it's not going to come from all different directions. It's going to come from one side. So try that. So Shane, why don't you come over there and see? <gasps> Is it sturdy enough? So what are you going to do? India, what do you want to add on to chat? You're going to test it out. What are we going to test out? I'll give you a second to think about it. I see you're, going to, you're going to test out your towers. All right, someone else add on. What about the towers are you going to test out? Josiah? We're going to test to see if our towers came to the two requirements. <gasps> the two requirements. Go back to your teams. Talk about the two requirements. Okay. Two requirements. All right, pass it to Jack. <laughs> Tyrese, did you guys meet the wind requirement? All right, so come on over here and check me out. All right, now I want you to get with your teams, and I want you to think about one compliment that this team did really well, and maybe a suggestion if they could redesign. Let's talk about it in your teams. Okay. Try the high button. One more. 